can get started. Okay. All right, I'm gonna show you how to rewind uh, and put a new string pull cord in your mower. And the way you do it, this is on a little Tecumseh six horse, I think. And I saw some videos. You can get me in the picture too if you, you want. Um, but I saw some people tell you how to do it wrong. So I'm gonna tell you what I figured out. What you do is you start, and this is if your cord, your spring's not broke, but you just take it, wind it backwards until all the spring tension is out of it and it's good and solid. And this is how you do it, just by going like this one step at a time until you get it there. And there's a hole right here where the string comes out. And it's even on the instructions of how to install the new cable. The new cord tells you wrong. Okay, I've gotten all that tension out. I've rewound that until I get the tension out. And to make it easy, I've got me a punch that I'm going to stick in here in this space and that's going to keep it from coming unwound now i go back over here where's the opposite side of this uh um opposite side of this hole and this is where your spool that your spring is on is right there there's a little hole and it tells you in the instructions on this pack of the uh, get a grip thing to stick it through here and then try to feed it through that hole. Well, what I feel that found out was don't do that. Take it and uh, feed it through this hole this way from the other direction. And that makes it go and it actually fed its way through to where it, uh, now I'm doing this so that it lines exactly up. The hole is gonna line exactly up with the uh, the other thing. And what I did, when I did it this way, and I tied my knot in this, this end, right here, and that's a figure eight knot. And then I stuck this through there, and at that, that time it went in real. It's not necessarily that easy, but then when you put that in, if it works for you right, It'll go right through there, come out of that hole, and go in that hole right there. That's through that little spool, and just give me just a second, it'll go in there. Well, being it's giving me a little bit more trouble, I've got a bunch of, got a bunch of big, uh, Got a bunch of ply tweezers, so I can take those tweezers, spin it around, and then stick it in the hole. Yeah, I had it in there. I've done it once, but I uh, didn't tie my knot off on the outside there. It's it's all the way there. So then you go over here, it's not quite there yet. So you give it a couple of more pushes. Okay. It's, it's through now. So pull it all the way through and then go this way. And I know that my knot is good here. What happened was I didn't realize my string was not long enough to allow the whole string to wind up on it. So I just let it go thinking I'd have a foot or so left out of the end of the string. And then you get it on this end. And I'm going to do this this way because I know I've got enough string. Then you reach in this. And I took and reused the little handle on this one because it's just a, a T-shaped handle. The other one was a circle and it wasn't big enough for me to get my hand into. So I took the old one and broke the string out of it with a little bit of difficulty, it wasn't that easy. And I am, am using it now. Now this is, this is your uh, figure eight knot right here. 
go over top under and then back through and i'm going to make it as short as as close to the end as i could possibly can because i know i've got more than a i've got enough i don't have extra string and every little bit that i can let go back on that kit that spool will be helpful so now this goes like that cram it in there now now i'm not going to let this thing fly back real easy if you let it fly back it's liable to have a problem break your spring if your spring's old so i've pulled my punch out just slowly let it fly back in there and boom it's ready finito and that